China has just made a groundbreaking move in the space industry by signing an agreement with Pakistan to send the first ever foreign astronaut to its Tiangong space station. This marks a significant shift in space diplomacy, signaling China's readiness to host international astronauts and expand its influence in human spaceflight. While space exploration has long been dominated by NASA and Western agencies, this partnership opens the door for emerging space nations to participate in crewed missions. China's rise in space exploration has been nothing short of remarkable. Over the past two decades, it has evolved from launching its first astronauts into orbit to operating its own fully functional space station. Tiangong, meaning Heavenly Palace, is at the center of this advancement. Unlike the International Space Station ISS, which was developed through a multi-nation collaboration, Tiangong is entirely built and maintained by China, demonstrating its ability to sustain human presence in space independently. Since its launch in 2021, Tiangong has hosted multiple crewed missions, proving its capabilities as an advanced space laboratory. With three interconnected modules, it provides a platform for cutting-edge scientific research, technology testing, and now international partnerships. Future expansion plans aim to increase the station's capacity, adding three more modules to accommodate more astronauts and enable more complex missions. China's exclusion from the ISS due to U.S. policies pushed it to develop an independent space station. However, rather than keeping it exclusive, China has opened Tiangong to international collaboration, starting with Pakistan. This decision positions China as a space leader welcoming developing nations, offering an alternative for those who seek access to crewed missions but lack the resources for independent space programs. With this expansion, China is setting the stage for a more inclusive and globally diverse space industry, where partnerships extend beyond traditional space agencies. The partnership between China and Pakistan in space exploration has been strengthening for decades, culminating in this historic astronaut mission. On February 28, 2025, the China Man Space Agency, CMSA, and Pakistan's Space and Upper Atmosphere Research Commission, SUPARCO, signed an agreement in Islamabad. This agreement ensures that a Pakistani astronaut will train in China and later board the Tiangong Space Station, a milestone elevating Pakistan's global space mission position and marking its entry into human spaceflight. China has played a crucial role in developing Pakistan's space program, launching multiple satellites for the country. As early as 1990, China helped Pakistan launch Badr-1, the country's first indigenously developed digital communications satellite. More recently, in 2024, Pakistan's CubeSat was sent aboard China's Chang-6 lunar probe, marking Pakistan's first lunar flyby. These collaborations reflect China's commitment to advancing Pakistan's space capabilities while solidifying its strategic alliance. Pakistan's astronaut selection and training will follow an intensive process led by CMSA, ensuring the candidate meets the physical, technical, and psychological requirements for spaceflight. China's advanced astronaut training program, which has produced successful crewed missions since the Shenzhou 5 mission in 2003, will be used to prepare the Pakistani astronauts for their journey to low Earth orbit, LEO. This training will include microgravity adaptation, extravehicular activity, EVA procedures, spacecraft systems management, and emergency protocols. By integrating Pakistan into its space missions, China is also challenging traditional space alliances dominated by the United States and its Western allies. This agreement may encourage other developing nations to seek similar collaborations with China, which offers an alternative pathway to space participation without relying on NASA or the European Space Agency, ESA. If successful, this partnership could become a model for China's future international space collaborations, further expanding its role as a global space power. This agreement represents a shift in the global space race, where China is emerging as a key player in space diplomacy. With the International Space Station nearing retirement in 2030, China is positioning Tiangong as the next major orbital station for scientific research and international cooperation. This move ensures that China retains a long-term human presence in low Earth orbit, LEO, offering an alternative platform for countries seeking space collaboration outside of U.S. and Western-led initiatives.
By inviting international astronauts, China is signaling that Tiangong is not just a national achievement but a global asset. The decision to send a Pakistani astronaut is a strategic milestone. It establishes China as a space partner for developing nations, a role traditionally dominated by NASA and the European Space Agency. This initiative aligns with China's broader goal of creating a more inclusive space exploration framework where emerging space nations have direct access to human spaceflight missions, training programs, and research opportunities. This development also places pressure on India, which has been working on its own human spaceflight program, Gaganyanyan. India aims to launch its first crewed mission soon and has plans to establish a space station by 2035. However, China moving ahead by selecting and training Pakistan's astronaut first signals a regional space competition that could accelerate India's initiatives. Historically, India has positioned itself as the leading space power among developing nations, and with China taking the first step in human space collaboration, New Delhi may respond by forging stronger alliances with the U.S. or expanding its own international space partnerships. Beyond South Asia, this partnership sets a precedent for other developing nations looking to participate in space missions. China has already built strong space partnerships across Africa, Latin America, and the Middle East, supporting satellite launches, remote sensing projects, and space technology transfer. With Tiangong now open to crewed missions for foreign astronauts, China is likely to extend similar opportunities to other countries that have previously been excluded from NASA-led programs due to political or economic limitations. By bringing foreign astronauts aboard Tiangong, China is also proving that its spaceflight technology is safe, reliable, and advanced enough to host international missions. This will likely attract more countries to consider crewed missions with China, further reinforcing Beijing's role in shaping the next phase of human space exploration. As China continues to expand Tiangong, it could become the dominant low-Earth orbit space station in the coming decades, offering a viable alternative to any future NASA-backed commercial space station. Ultimately, this agreement highlights a new era in space cooperation, where access to human spaceflight is no longer limited to a select group of nations. China's decision to send a Pakistani astronaut to Tiangong is more than just a milestone. It's a sign of a shifting global space order. It demonstrates China's growing ability to train, host, and lead international space missions, offering an alternative to Western-led programs. For Pakistan, this mission is a symbolic and scientific achievement, opening doors for its future in space exploration. The long-term effects of this move will reshape global space partnerships, creating a more diverse and competitive space industry. As China continues to expand its influence, the question remains, who will be the next nation to join the Tiangong program? If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more updates on space exploration and scientific discoveries. And don't forget to leave a comment below. Also, you can visit our website, spaceinews.com. Thank you for watching and see you next time.